Hey guys, Will LaSalle here from JLS Gaming, and today we're unboxing the Wingman Converter SD. This can make any console's controller wireless compatible with Sega Dreamcast or Sega Saturn. Let's do it! Alright, let's get started. Gotta use my trusty blade here. Make sure not to cut ourselves there. Okay. Oh, not, not, not a good job with the box here. Uh, let's take a quick uh, look at what it says in the back, right? So this can change any, uh, turn any Xbox 360, Xbox Elite, Xbox Elite 2, PS3, PS4, or Switch Pro to be able to connect to the Saturn uh, Dreamcast or even PC with the next input. Um, as you can see by the drawing, um, they promise firmware upgrades and the, you know, product info uh, the package includes the Wingman SD, right? And this comes from Brook, right? We'll have links below on how you can order this on Amazon. So let's get into. And what we have here is the unit itself. Right, so the unit itself, as you can see, and then it has the connectors, right? Dual connectors here for the Dreamcast and for the Sega Saturn. And that's where you can put the joysticks, right? Via USB or micro USB. What else we got in the box? Oh, and some cool stickers. Some cool Brook and like a little gecko or something like that stickers. All right, let's get this thing paired up with a PS3 controller and the Dreamcast. So what we have here is our Dreamcast. Now mind you, this is our Dreamcast with the USB GD EMU. Check that out. And this is the one we're going to test it on uh, along with a PS3 controller. And as you can see, here's the screen. So I've got the adapter connected into the slot one controller slot for the Sega Dreamcast. In slot two, I got my other control just in case. It's solid green and flashing red. Now let's connect the PS3 control via USB cable. Once we connected the USB cable connected to the PS3 controller, you see that the lights turn solid. And you see the PS3 controller right here. And it's able to control it wired. Now let's see about wireless. And now here's the controller paired wirelessly. Let's get into some gameplay with the control. Street Fighter Alpha 3. So now let's see some of these controls. So jumping seems good. The mapping, the mapping of the controls, um, I'm not sure about them, but still able to do some combos here. Still able to do my dragon punches there, as you can see. Um, Okay. And I'm sure within the game itself, you could remap buttons uh, to be able to kind of, yeah, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Very responsive. I just got to get with the mapping, both uh, mapping the PS3 control buttons and also within the game itself. But very responsive, right? No lag at all. I'm able to get my moves off. A little rusty in this one. 
but as you can sit here and see, still able to pull off moves. And again, you can use uh, wireless if you got fight controllers, you know, so you can even use wired or wireless fight controllers, right? And it was real easy to pair, right? So all I had to do was sit there and um, connect it wired at first, right? Wait till it sunk up green. And then you see that kick butt. And then once I did that, unhook the wire, right? And it it didn't auto pair at first, held the button for two seconds, then hit the um, PS button and it paired right away, right? This is a real cool product. I'm gonna still play with it. Um, it you know, try it out with other controllers. We'll have the link below, you know what I'm saying? As always, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Peace, guys.